Hi, I'm Mindy Raymond Benson, and welcome to my Supreme Bar Workout. Okay, this workout is designed to focus on your legs and your glutes, but of course your core and arms are gonna get some love too. So this is a pretty high intensity workout, so anytime if you need to take a breather, go ahead and do so and join back up when you're ready. Okay, let's get started. So you wanna make sure that you have your fit ball nearby. I like to tuck it under the pull through bar just to make sure I know where it is. Then we're gonna have a nice easy grip on the bar. The tower is gonna be in the bar position here. So easy grip, the opposite hand is just gonna come right on your hip. And we're gonna start with an easy lift. So feet are gonna be about hip width distance. You wanna stack up your hips, your knees, and your ankles all on top of each other. And just an easy lift here. We're gonna lift up and down, up and down. So what we're doing now is just warming up the legs, lift. Some things to be aware of in the body. Lift, you wanna lift through the chest. You wanna keep your shoulders nice and soft here. So again, it's that easy grip on the bar. Keep tucking the tailbone. Okay, we're warming up the calves, we're warming up the hamstrings, the glutes. Okay, we have a few more here. So four, keep lifting. Here's two, and one. We're gonna stay lifted on the balls of our feet. So the heels are nice and high. Moving into demi-plie, so we're gonna bend the knees and lift. So down and up. Again, tailbone is tucked underneath you. Think of a string reaching from the crown of the head as it reaches up towards the ceiling. So get nice and long in the body. Down and up. Good, breathe. So exhale. Okay, we got four. Here we are, three. Here's two. And double time. So take it all the way down and just pulse. Pulse. The modification for this one is that you're gonna allow the feet to come onto the floor. Lift the chest, drop your shoulders down your back. Pulse, start feeling it. I'm feeling it definitely in my quadriceps. Pulse, pulse. Here's four, Woo, three, breathe through it. Two, and one. We're gonna stay low in the hips, high on the heels. Pelvis, uh, pelvic tuck. So just tuck and release, tuck and release, good. So the tailbone is releasing back. And then imagine you're drawing your belly button and your pubic bone together. So you're squeezing those lower abdominals in. Glutes are working here. Here's four, three. You squeeze and release, good. So stay low, heels are gonna come in. You're gonna lift all the way up, nice and easy. We're gonna come down, bring the knees in and out. So knees in and out, good. Woo, inner and outer thighs are working. Keep lifting your chest, shoulders are soft. Breathe, definitely feel it. Again, at any point, just drop your heels to the floor if you need to. Here's four, okay, three, here's two, and one. All right, let's stretch it out, you guys. Release, nice easy quad stretch here. Just go ahead and grab that foot, drop the knee down. Oh, feel that big stretch along the hip flexor and the quadricep. Lift the chest, breathe here. Good. Okay, let's switch the legs out. Use that bar for balance. Try and draw the heel to the glute as much as you can. All right, so we're gonna do that whole thing again with our ball. So a nice big workout here, you guys. Grab your fit ball. We're gonna squeeze it in between our inner thighs. So this is gonna allow your feet to be a little bit wider than hip width distance, that's okay because we have the ball in the inner thighs. <clears throat> so again, it's a nice easy grip on the bar. Opposite hand is on the hip, we're just gonna move into that easy lift. So up and down, squeeze, breathe here, pull the belly in, lift through the chest. Imagine that crown of the head reaching high. Here's four, three, Here's two, and demi-plie in one. So lift all the way up on the tiptoes, nice and high, heels are reaching towards the ceiling. We're gonna take it down and up, down and up. So you're squeezing the ball on the way down. Keep lifting the chest, breathe. So you're exhaling on the way down, inhale, lift. Exhale, inhale, shh, good, shh. Almost there, take it to double time in three, Here's two, and double, just pulse right here at the bottom. Pulse it down, good, oh goodness. I definitely feel it in my legs for sure. Pulse, pulse, hug that belly in. Here's four, three, two, and one.
one. Back to easy lift and down. Lift and down. Good. Stretch it out. Squeeze and down. Here's four. Here's three. Shoulders are soft. Two and one. Okay, let's release that ball. We're gonna stretch it out in figure four. This is a very common yoga pose. So you're gonna face your bar. Both hands are gonna be on the bar. Again, we're using this as uh, some balance. We're gonna bend our left knee, bring the right leg up and over, figure four. So you wanna flex your right foot. Weight is gonna be back in your left heel here. And you're just gonna soften the shoulders down. We wanna sit back in the hips as much as you can, stretching the glute, the outer thigh, lift the chest, soften the shoulders, breathe here. Nice big inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. All right, let's switch it out. Right leg is gonna anchor down. You're pressing the entire right foot down. Deep bend in the right knee, cross the left leg up and over. Again, figure four. It's a great yoga pose to stretch out the glute and the hamstring. Lift the chest, anchor down, exhale. Flex your left foot, that's gonna help support your knee joint. Take one more inhale, lift, and exhale, stretch. Okay, taking it back up. Okay, so next is our right glute squeeze. We're gonna grab that ball. What you wanna do, we're gonna face the bar. Left leg is gonna anchor down, right ball, that ball is gonna come into the right leg between your hamstring and your calf. Now, you can either rest your arms on the bar like so, or you can keep a nice lifted chest. So from here, we're gonna squeeze that ball back in just this little lift right here. So you're squeezing the ball and lifting at the same time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep drawing the right hip forward. Breathe into it. So right that low base of the glute, calf and hamstring are working. Flex your foot, lift, lift, good. Feel the burn. If you need to bend that standing leg, go ahead and do so. Here's four, here's three. All right, two and one. Release the ball, shake out that leg a little bit. Switch it out, that ball's gonna come right in between the hamstring and your calf. You're gonna squeeze the ball, so we'll, right away, we're working those muscles. Anchor down into the right leg. Bend the knee as needed. Again, you can cross your arms over or keep your chest lifted. Whatever feels comfortable for you, flex your left foot and then take it back. Squeeze, squeeze. So you're squeezing and lifting at the same time. Squeeze, good. Breathe, yeah. Definitely feel it. All right, good job, you guys. We're almost there for this exercise anyway. Here's four, three, press it back. Here's two and one. All right, release the ball. Shake it out for a little bit. Get that blood flowing into the muscles. Still using our fit ball, we're gonna place it in between our inner thighs, facing the tower here. Nice, easy grip. You really wanna drop those shoulders down the back. Feet are a little bit beyond hip width distance. So this move is a lift, squeeze, tuck, and down. So it looks like this. You're gonna lift, squeeze the ball, tuck, and down. Lift, squeeze, tuck, and down. So join me when you're ready. Squeeze, tuck, it's these small little movements. Lift, squeeze, tuck, and down. All right, breathe. So you're working your inner and outer thigh, you're working your lower abdominals, glutes, obviously are feeling it. Lift, squeeze, tuck and down. Breathe here, tuck and down, good. Four, how you guys doing? Lift, squeeze, tuck and down. Almost there, halfway, tuck. One more, you guys, lift, squeeze, tuck and down, good. All right, we're gonna release the ball, just place it right underneath the pull-through bar. Make sure it stays in place. You're gonna cross your arms over, uh, over the tower here. Left arm is gonna be on top. You can even draw your head down to your forearms if you like, if that feels good. Right leg is gonna anchor down underneath your foot. Again, we wanna stack the joints, so uh, hips, knees, and ankles are all stacked. You're gonna just gaze down. We're gonna press that left leg back nice and strong, and then it's just a little lift here. So the leg is straight. Micro bend that right knee if you need to. Lift, lift. 
Taking the movement into the base of the glute, lift. So it's this little squeeze. So that's what bar does. We work these little movements here really to isolate the muscles. Great sculpting and toning. Oh, feels so good. All right, you guys, almost there. Breathe. Here's three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it into circles. So circle it in, just that leg. It's this little, tiny movement. Imagine that you're tracing the head of a dime with your big toe. That's how small it is. So again, those inner outer thighs, the glutes are working. Bend the knee as much as you need to. Keep the shoulders soft. Okay, here's two. And one, we're gonna switch directions. Other way, oh, breathe into it, you guys. I know you're feeling it. I definitely am feeling it. Squeeze, little tiny circle. Imagine that dime, you're pointing it back. Switch, squeeze, good. Here's three, two, knee to chest, in one. So stretch it, bring it in. Stretch it and bring it in. <sighs> Lengthen. Just getting that blood flow back into the leg. Three, here's two, and one. All right, shake it out. Oh yeah, we're feeling that for sure. Let's do it on the other side. All right, the left leg is gonna anchor down. So again, we're stacking those joints. The hip, the knee, and the ankle all stacked. This time right arm is gonna come up and over. We're gonna press that leg back first. Draw the hip forward so you know your hips are square. And from here, we're just gonna lift, lift. Pointing the toe back. So your calf, your quadricep, your hamstring, everything is working. The shoulders are nice and soft as you lift. Good, you can bend that standing leg as you need to. Micro bend it, it feels like too much pressure in that knee. Breathe. Shh, shh. Four, here's three, here's two. Back to those circles. All right, circle it in. Oh, little tiny movement. So again, think of that dime. You're just tiny little movement. You might not even see my leg moving that much. Really wanna focus in on that circle. Squeeze, squeeze. If you're doing it correctly, you're definitely feeling it. Breathe. Here's three. Gonna switch directions and switch. Take it out, good. Squeeze. So just visualize that dime. You're just tracing the head of the dime with your foot. Squeeze, pointing the toe. Breathe. Here's four, three, two. Knee to chest in one. All right, bring it in. Oh, that feels so good. Releasing the back. In and out. In and out. Shh. Good. Couple more here, you guys. Get the blood flowing. Here's two and one. Whew. All right, we're still going for it, you guys. Grab your fit ball. Again, at any time, if you need to take a breather, go ahead and do so. Pause it, whatever you need to do, and join back when you're ready. All right, let's get some push-ups, upper arm action here. You're gonna take your fit ball, place it in between your inner thighs. Hands are gonna be about shoulder width apart on the bar. You might have to kind of move the body a little bit to gauge how far away you need to be from the tower. We're gonna to move into some push-ups here. It's a two count push-up. So on the exhale, you're gonna take it down for two and lift for two. Exhale, inhale. Elbows go wide. You want the core engaged. Glutes are engaged as well. Legs are nice and strong. Neutral gaze, so you're just looking straight ahead of you. Inhale. Shh. Gonna take it to double time, or if you want to, you can stay right here. So the modification, you keep doing the two count, otherwise you can go with me here, and one. Take it down and up. Shh. Push. Push, core is engaged, soften the shoulders. Here's five. Four, maybe even smile. Here's three. Here's two. And one. All right. We're gonna get nice and close to the bar here for some calf raises. You're gonna lift all the way up on your tiptoes as high as you can. And all we're gonna do is just focus on the calf. So it's this little tiny lift. Lift. You're squeezing the ball. 
Again, the upper body is nice and relaxed. Lift. Chin is neutral, chest is lifted. Keep tucking that tailbone underneath you and hugging the belly back towards your spine. Lift, squeeze. Almost there, you guys. Great workout for today, we're almost there. Here we go, here's four. Here's three. Here's two. And one, go ahead and release down. Release the ball, place it under the pull through bar. Go ahead and release back so your elbows are gonna rest onto the bar here. We are gonna move into that Pilates V. So the heels are gonna be in toes pointed out for some leg extensions. Right leg is gonna point out towards the opposite end of the room here. And then we're just gonna lift and lower. Lift. So you're obviously feeling it in the top quadricep, or in the quadricep. Feeling it in the calf. Lift your chest and breathe. And if you need a micro bend that standing leg, go ahead and do so. Here's four, three. Your lower body's getting some love. And last one, good. Release, other side. Point that toe out first, extend it. Keep the hips nice and square. Lift and down. Shh, shh, nice and strong. Good job, you guys. This is a great workout. Really sculpting and shaping your lower body, your glutes calves, quadriceps, everything's gonna look nice and sexy. Lift, here's four, almost there. Here's two, and one. All right, face the tower. Heels in, toes out, we're gonna lower down. So depending on your flexibility, you might not go all the way down to the ground, and that's okay. We just wanna take a nice big open bend in the knees, down and up, good. So down and up. Use the bar. It's two count. Exhale. Shh. And up. Here's two. And up. We're gonna move into double time. And up. All right. Down and up. Nice and open with the knees. Press down and up. Again, depending on the flexibility, you might not go all the way down and that's fine. Just do what your body can do today. Each time you come to the bar, your body's a little bit different, so just stay with it. This is it, you guys. Here we are for four. Here's three. Here's two. And one. All right, take it off. Let's stretch it out. Nice work, you guys. We're gonna cross the right leg over the left. Bend the knees as you need to. You're slowly just gonna fold your body over. Release the head. Breathe into it, inhale, and exhale. Again, bend the knees as needed. We have one more. Exhale. Release the right foot. You're gonna cross the left foot over. Inhale, and then exhale, fold into it. Releasing your hamstrings. Exhale, fold. One more breath. Exhale. Release your feet slow as you can go all the way up. Take your time. We're reversing that blood flow. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Hands overhead, hands come through the heart. Exhale. Let's do two more. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste.